I drove six hours to a slip and slide party. And some people said, why did you drive so far? I'm like, hold on. This wasn't something dinky like this. This sucker was 250 feet long and was on this massive hill in upstate New York. Here's a view from the other end. Well, technically it was 240 feet until you reached this area, which I call the, oh my gosh, you're going too fast. You better slow down before you crash into the weeds. Deceleration puddle of awesomeness. Check it out. Here I go. Jimmy DeResta was there. He also captured video of me and published it to his own channel, which was seen by like a bajillion people. Jimmy's cool. <laughs> But when you're with makers, the number of subs you have really doesn't matter. Everyone's like super chill. There were a bunch of other makers here too. Izzy, Jesse, Jay, Paul, Charles, Josh, Keith, Taylor, Jimmy again, Danny B, Jimmy again, Tony. Tony took this photo I made and made it his profile pic. That makes me so happy. Keith again, Tony again. Here's one of me and Tony. It was Tony's party. He's super good at making stuff. He also machines stuff and makes his own tools. I'm talking heirloom quality. Buy it for life level stuff. It's so sexy. Speaking of sexy, it's a well-known fact that anyone that stands next to Tony appears, get this, less sexy. Here, I'll prove it. Now, I know I'm a solid seven on the sexy scale, but watch this. See? Someone should get some science all up in there and figure that out. Anyway, many of these people I met in Atlanta earlier in the year. Some I met for the first time, like Taylor. I said, hi, I'm Matt. She said, nice to meet you, I'm Taylor. I know, I subscribe to your YouTube channel. She said, thanks. I said, you should totally post more because your stuff is great. And she told me she will, and that made me really, really happy. Her stuff is so freaking awesome. A lot of cool materials she uses. It's different, I, I, I like it a lot. I was super bummed because I had to leave early because the next day I worked at the Guns N' Roses concert. Check out that video. There's an end card at the end. I was about to leave and Josh says, hold on, Matt. I know you like beer. I have something for you. And he hands me this bottle of beer. And I'm like, sorry, I'm on my way out. Just keep it or give it to someone else. He's like, no, you don't understand. This is literally the best beer. And I'm thinking... Are you using the word literally correctly? <laughs> I actually asked him that. He's like, yeah, it is universally accepted as the best beer on the planet. I was kind of like, really? He's like, yeah, yeah. And he talked about how these monks in Belgium sell it and it's super hard to buy. And when you go to get some, they record your phone number and they track your license plate. And they won't let you buy it again that season. And I haven't tried it yet, but I'm anxious to try the best beer in the world because, hey, I don't have the best of everything. You know, I don't drive the best car. I don't have the finest timepiece. But now, apparently, I have the best best beer on the planet. I cannot wait. So thank you, Josh, for that. I had so much fun hanging out with the maker community. I can't wait to see everyone again. I can't wait to meet new people. I love the maker community. Maker community for the win. Woo!